Even Joe Rogan referred to people holding 9 to 5 jobs as, as, as crazy. Hi, hello and welcome to another episode of China Teacher, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in China. Today, I want to talk about 9 to 5 jobs and why it pisses me off that so many people online are dissing people who hold these kind of jobs. Look, about half the time that I open a video on YouTube, and yes, I'm not a paying user, I'm getting ads of people dissing on people who hold 9 to 5 jobs. People telling me that they can teach me how to ditch my boss by selling Amazon products or becoming a digital nomad or whatever. Basically, they're telling me they can teach me how to become the middleman. And it's not just ads, it's also a lot of influencers on, on YouTube, on Instagram and Facebook. These uh, whole make money easy fast from home schemes are everywhere. And in other words, they are asking me to become the middleman. Even Joe Rogan referred to people holding 9 to 5 jobs as, as, as crazy. And he's not the only one using derogatory terms to refer to, to regular people holding regular jobs. I know that you're probably going to judge me because I'm a boss and I have a company, but if you give me just a minute, I'll explain why my situation is different. Look, when I was growing up, uh, I was part of a, an elite society in my home country, in Colombia. And my buddies and I, we used to think and refer to farmers almost in the exact same terms. Why would you want to work in the fields? It's so hard and so underpaid, so why would you want to do that? And that is exactly what got me to reflect on what these online gurus are doing nowadays. They're referring to 9 to 5 ers the same way that my contemporary colleagues and classmates used to talk about farmers. And we were wrong. We were wrong the same way that Joe Rogan and all these fast, easy money making teachers are wrong today. Let me elaborate. Any economy is set up to exchange goods and services. But here's the thing. A vast majority of services sold today are not essential to the sustenance of life. Most services are frills, luxuries, non-vital. And in today's era of consumerism, we should at least admit that most goods purchased today are also not essential to the sustenance of life. But one type of good that is essential, food, produce, you know, meat, vegetables, fruit, dairy, grain, it has always been and will forever be essential that we have people working in the fields to bring produce to our tables. We need these people. We could and should empower and provide them with better technology and better conditions. But we all need farmers. Without them, we won't get our frappuccino, mocha, latte, decaf, soy, non-dairy coffee at Starbucks. We simply won't. And since we're talking about Starbucks, we won't get this long name as coffee without the guy working 9 to 5 to make the drink the way you want it. And you ask, what's the difference between these gurus and the barista? Well, the gurus are a middleman. They're just a flashy salesperson having to showcase, in many cases, fake success. You know, the rented Lambo, the rented mansion, the holiday that they put on credit card. Because that's the difference. The barista is creating something, he's producing something. He's adding value to the coffee bean and the steamed milk. And that's how I am more related to the barista than the self-employed middleman that you see online these days. I create value by providing education to my students and jobs to my employees. There is capitalism and then there's leeches. Middlemen add zero value to the world. Look, I know that I'm not going to be able to stop this internet frenzy, but for once at least I can raise my voice in protest. I've come a long way around from my late teens when I used to denigrate on farmers. I hope that people nowadays will stop doing the same about 9 to 5 -ers. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and if you like the content on my channel, then consider subscribing to it and if you do that, don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified whenever there is a new video out. And alright, until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.